Today's video does not actually feature a particular car, but rather a quite outstanding engine. The renowned high-performance BMW S54 is found on the M cars in the early 2000s. It is an inline-six 3.2-litre engine with an iron cast block that sinks to 8,000 RPM. Individual throttle bodies, drive-by-wire throttle control and variable valve timing, better known as VANOS in the BMW dictionary, are some of the features found on this beast of an engine. It has won many awards, including the 2001 International Engine of the Year, and remains a true favourite power plant amongst BMW enthusiasts. For this video, we have gathered up two iconic M cars that conceal this S54 engine, an M3 CSL and a Z3 M Coupe. Let's look at the Z3 engine first. BMW only put in the high-performance S54 engine into the Z3 M Coupe for its last two years of production in 2001 and 2002. In this trim, the S54 is producing 325 horsepower and 261 pound-foot of torque. The car weighs in at 1420 kilos, so it had a very decent power to weight ratio back in the day. As for the looks, yes it is love it or hate it, but I tell you this car is aging very well, wouldn't you agree? The lines and the chop back looks mean and makes the rear look wider and more muscular. I love it. Switching to the CSL, for this special M3, BMW has put upgraded camshafts, carbon fibre manifold and a bigger intake to bring it up to 360 horsepower and 263 pound-foot of torque, a fair increase over the Z3 M Coupe. For the rest of the car, it is all about shedding weight. Carbon fibre roof and trims everywhere, a lightweight exhaust system, bucket seats and even stereo and aircon came as options only. At 1385 kilos, the CSL is 110 kg lighter than the standard E46 M3. So on paper, the CSL is a little bit more powerful and a little bit lighter than the M Coupe. But in the real world, which one drives better? Let's find out. First up, the CSL. The steering on this car is just so delicious. In fact, it could be the best that I've ever tried. The thick Alcantara wheel, coupled with the hydraulic assisted steering, provides great feel and there's a certain weightiness about it, which gives you a lot of confidence. But then, here comes the engine. Listen to that carbon air box and that raspy exhaust. What a sound! fast car by today's standards, but there's a symphony which just tingles your senses. The throttle response up in the high RPM range is sensational. This must be the individual throttle bodies working their magic. If electric cars are going to take over the world, then this engine is definitely worth keeping in your garage. The chassis balance is awesome. The CSL gets specially developed springs and dampers which offers tons of grip. It's like a proper race car, which has been made to destroy lap times. But, and this is a huge but, the SMG gearbox is terrible. These electro-hydraulic gearboxes are a real joke. It's very slow compared to modern dual-track systems, and it's also very jerky. The rev match is at best average, and it also wears out the clutch very quickly. If you think about it, these SMG F1 e-gear Celespeed gearboxes are dead after only around 15 years, and then dual clutch came along and took over the world. And I'm sorry, but this gearbox nearly ruins the whole driving experience. What a shame, really. Let's jump into the Z3, shall we? Because in here, we have a traditional manual box. BMW have only put in their five-speed version, but I'm already feeling a lot happier. All BMW owners know that they make the best manual gearboxes. The throw is short, a little bit notchy, but very assuring. But I'm already much more in sync with this car compared to the CSL, just because of the gearbox. And back to the S54 engine. Gone are the carbon intake and performance exhausts, and with it the lovely melody. But even though we're lacking 35 horsepower, I still feel like she's properly rapid. The exhaust is a deep and raw, and the steering still feels lovely. Tons of feel, and certainly on par with the CSL. Chassis-wise, it's not as refined, composed, or poised as the CSL. And it's definitely much more on the edge, but in a way, that's a lot more fun. Because of the shorter wheelbase, it turns in a lot sharper. 
it darts and changes direction with a lot more urgency compared to the CSL. The M3 has proper race car dynamics, while this is a rear-wheel hot hatch on steroids. It's very interesting to experience the two chassis with the same engine. So here comes the ultimate question, which one should you buy? The engine for sure is the highlight, but these cars offer very different experiences and dynamics. Now if you want to speculate and collect, no doubt about it the CSL wins hands down. It is a mad special edition M3 with around 1400 units made and for sure in the coming years the price will keep going up. It's just a real shame about the SMG gearbox. If this car were to have a manual gearbox, I bet prices would be double of today's value already. Everything except for the gearbox gets an A and then the gearbox is an F. So to average things out, you are still getting a B or B plus car to drive and collect. The quirky looks and handling of the Z3M Coupe makes it a bizarre underdog. If you think of it, controversial looking cars usually get more attention and affection years down the road. Only 1100 units for the Z3M Coupe were produced with the S54 engine and actually only 165 cars were made in right hand drive. So what you are looking at is a very, very rare car and arguably have a great appreciation potential too. And if I really, really have to choose, I would actually pick the Z3M Coupe to drive over the CSL. It is more on the edge and really needs proper driving skills to tame. It makes it very rewarding to get it right. All my logic and common sense tells me to like the M3, but somehow my heart goes towards the unorthodox M Coupe.